so much for tuning in to this new channel called Wicked Gingerbread. My name is Molly. You are in my kitchen. And although my recipes are not going to center around gingerbread, I thought on my maiden voyage, the premiere, I would show you how to make old-fashioned gingerbread. What makes it old-fashioned is they actually are using molasses. I'm not sure if some of the modern takes on this um, use molasses because it's kind of an old-fashioned sweetener ingredient. A little bit about my channel. Um, it's just for fun. I'm not a dietitian. I'm not a nutritionist. I'm not a doctor. I'm just someone who loves to cook. Um, I've lost a few pounds here and there. I've tried Weight Watchers. I was successful, but it's not really for me, but these are usually Weight Watcher friendly recipes. Um, I currently count macros in Chronomer. It's an app. Great app if you get a chance to try it. So everything here, I try to lighten it up. We eat really delicious food as much as possible, but in little subtle ways I try to make them a little more friendlier on the gut. So let's get started. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to like, leave comments. I uh, love to hear your suggestions. I love to hear um, your experience with weight loss, cooking, or making my recipes. Um, every week I'm going to try to post a recipe that also helps out with meal prep, um, give you tips, things that I've noticed have helped me because I work full time and go to school, uh, busy lifestyle. So I, whenever I learn something I'll try to share it with you. Uh, normally I'm going to try to post once a week. I'm going to try to post uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, and It's going to be food that you can prepare quickly. So, let's get started on the old-fashioned gingerbread. Um, they say to always, when you're baking, first of all, when you're baking, remember you really do have to measure everything. You can't just, with cooking, you'll see my cooking, it's a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Um, I'll try to always post the recipes so that you don't have to take notes if it's something that looks like you'd like to try. So the first thing we're going to do, this is a combination mixture of um, brown sugar. Now I only used a third of a cup of brown sugar. The actual recipe calls for a whole cup. So we, we don't need that. So we're uh, using a third of a cup of brown sugar and it calls for um, regular white flour. No, I'm using wheat flour. The white flour to me, it looks like they've bleached and they've taken depleted a lot of the that you need. So this is a third of a cup brown sugar, two and a half cups wheat flour, and one tablespoon baking soda. So this is the dry ingredients. I'm going to just go ahead and put that in the bowl. And then I'm just going to whisk it a little, just to incorporate the ingredients a little. So the next thing I'm going to do is actually, oh, no more dry ingredients, sorry. We have to have all the spices, which is another reason, by the way, I came up with Wicked Gingerbread. I love fall and I love cooking with spices. So this is a perfect example of using spices as much as you can. The kitchen just smells like, wait till it's done cooking. That's really going to be, they already smell very fall-like. So I'm using one tablespoon of ground cinnamon, one and a half teaspoons of ground ginger, and a half a teaspoon of clove. Clove is wonderful, but it's very strong, so be careful how much you use. So again, in with the dry, the dry ingredients. You just want to get it incorporated. It doesn't have to be perfect, because you're going to mix it up a little bit more. So this is where some of the healthy, aside from reducing the sugar a little, Instead of using butter, which is what it calls for, I'm using a four ounce or a half a cup of unsweetened applesauce. It will do the same trick as the butter and actually makes it a little juicier sometimes. So I'm using four ounces of the applesauce and I'm using egg whites instead of regular eggs. So this is about a, a half of a cup of egg whites. And it calls for a cup of water, but because I'm using more wet ingredients, I'm just going to put a half a cup. 
and for the molasses. This is a organic bootstrap, a half a cup. And you want to try to get all of it out. That's the good stuff that's going to help sweeten it a little and give it like a smoky taste. Okay, so now I'm going to just mix it up. You want to try to mix it up to where it turns into, um, and if it feels like it's too dry, you can't stir it very good. You don't want it too runny, but you can always add a little more water if you feel like it's kind of dry. And then what you're going to do, I have approximately an 11 by 7, and I just used the spray. You can use Pam or any kind of nonstick spray. I've preheated the oven at 350 degrees. And this is going to bake, I'm going to check it, I'm going to check it in about 35 minutes. Uh, and you, you would test it by putting a toothpick in the center. If the toothpick comes out clean, it's done. If not, put it back in for a few more moments. So I'm going to stop right here, and then by the magic of the camera, I will show you what it looks like when it's done. Welcome to the final product. It actually only took a half hour um, to bake and um, I did forget to tell you that it also should have had salt. Um, I put a pinch of salt in, you could put up to maybe a half teaspoon and it would still be good. Also, um, it did take a whole cup of water. I will post the recipe down below. So again, you can print it, you can share it, save it, and please don't forget to subscribe. Uh, Click on the little bell and I'm going to be posting a lot of these. So it'll alert you whenever I post a new video. So let me show you what I've done with some of these. Here are, you could eat it plain and it tastes, I think it's going to taste amazing. Uh, some, some options to put on top. You could use fat free or light Cool Whip. That's this one. The little sprinkle of cinnamon. You could also, on this one, I put a little powdered sugar and I put um, sugar-free caramel. Tastes pretty good, just like the regular. And then this is a, a different take on it as well. Because it has ginger in it, I thought, well, let's use caramelized ginger. So you just cut it up the same place you buy nuts online or peanut but gourmet peanut butter. They usually have, it's in the dried fruit section. But that's what this one is. It has a little caramel and a little caramelized ginger. So, thank you very much for spending your day or evening with me and watching my video. Please continue to watch my video and let's have fun together and let's lose some weight together while we're eating good food.